It's my favorite holiday of the year, Labor Day. I'm sure it is yours too. And as I sifted through the scores of horror films taking place on Labor Day, I ended up checking out the early 80s slasher Humongous, which takes place over, what else, Labor Day weekend. Humongous, a.k.a. Dog Island, was released in 1982. I have a Vimeo link down below where you can watch it yourself. It's directed by Paul Lynch and written by William Gray. On the one hand, Humongous is your typical 80s slasher flick. It's got an unseen killer with a dastardly origin stalking clueless and hormone-driven youths through a forest. Nothing we haven't seen in a Friday the 13th film dozens of times. Except this time, it's on an island. Despite the fact that what plays out in Humongous is highly formulaic, it follows this formula in a skillful manner that proves to be mighty horrific for its time. Humongous, aka Dog Island, named after the secluded island these horrific events occur upon, is about the product of a nasty rape that results in the birth of a monstrous child. Like other films such as Mother's Day, I Spit on Your Grave, and The Beast Within, Rape is given monstrous form in Humongous. In the metaphorical sense, the monsters in these films represent the stigma attached to a victim. Though all rapes don't result in pregnancy, there is the nightmarish stigma that follows the heinous crime. In horror movies, this nightmare is given the form of a beast. And the beast in Humongous is just that, a seven-foot-tall madman that grew up away from society on an island populated only by his mother and a pack of wild dogs. Of course, the child is just a tiny bit maladjusted. Having to compete with wild hounds for food makes one quite surly, I'd imagine. Much of the movie is dedicated to the uneasy connection between the youngsters, which basically serve as fodder for our madman. Though the story of two warring brothers is somewhat interesting, this plot thread is only touched upon, and the film quickly falls into convention, with the virginal final girl being the only one left to take on the monster. The rape scene at the beginning is horrific, but director Paul Lynch, who also directed Prom Night, chooses to focus on the terror of it, amping it to its maximum fright potential without lingering uncomfortably on it as other films such as the I Spit on Your Grave series. After that, Lynch opens the film with a haunting montage of still photographs set to elevator-style jazz music, having just witnessed the brutality of the opening and then being inundated with these sacrinated photos of a woman who through the photos grows older and more secluded on the island is a memorable way to communicate the passage of time. Lynch is guilty of aping POV shots seen in Black Christmas, Halloween, and Friday the 13th, but impresses me with moody lighting, especially in the scenes with the disfigured monster in them, only seen in silhouette in front of the bright light source. The monster, played by Gary Robbins, is imposing in stature, but also in the manner with which he moans and groans. The sounds coming from the humongous creature are ones of pain and remorse. It also sounds like a crying man-baby crashing around and killing all of these youngsters and later feeling pain from these acts. Humongous shouldn't be on the top of anyone's must-see list, but if you're looking for an old slasher convention done right, it's sure to please. It's also pretty much the only horror film set on Labor Day that I could find. The film stars David Wallace, best known for Mazes and Monsters and Mortuary, with TNA provided by Joy Bouchel, who was the bar floozy Goldblum beds in The Fly. Plus there's 70s Nancy Drew star Janet Julian as the final girl. The acting is pretty good. There's a pretty small kill count, and I wouldn't call any of those creative or bloody, But the film keeps its brutal tone all the way through as this man-monster smashes everyone in its path. Though the film pulls a page right from the ending of Friday the 13th Part 2 as the final girl tries to confuse the monster by posing as its mother, Humongous has enough chills and unnerving thrills to entertain if you're in the mood for something trashy and slashy. Please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals, click subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for notifications.
Yeah.